Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 24, the Kobe Bryant episode of Let's Play Celasta, Island of Domination, user module. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, man, we've been making some good progress since coming back to the game. I still have to record some more Elden Ring at the moment, but right now I'm really into this. Um, so yeah, today we're going to try to find Joseph's farm. Uh, we bought some cool boots for Zoe and Illendir at the end of last episode. That's going to, that are going to help us big time with, uh, initiative rolls plus three to initiative permanently. And they didn't need to be attuned, which was very cool. But um, I think I made a good choice there. We could have saved up for something a bit better. One item. But um, hopefully, you know, we're making more money as we go. So shouldn't be too big of a setback. We had 2,900, I think. And we spent 1,200. So I uh, still have a chunk left to save up. So. All right. So we are going to head... We lost Knight Ben. I don't know if we can go get another Knight from the Legion. I don't think... No, I don't think we can. Um, let's check out the journal and see if there's faction quests. Let's see. The Thieves Guild. Um, hmm. So we basically just have to join them. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's friendly giants, the orc clans, the pilgrimage. Right, the monastery, basically. The Thieves Guild, the Tower of Sorcery still, the Town Legion. We have not met nearly all of them, so I don't want to make a decision just yet. Oh, wait, do we have to rest? It doesn't look like it. It looks like we're all good to go. Boots of the First Strike are the name of those boots. All right, let's head out um, and head right into it, guys. It's going to be fun. Here we go. You follow the road around town to the surrounding farmland. Okay. Very happy to be playing this again. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's check the map. Um, what is this? Farmland 2. Okay, so that is the way. Well, yeah, because are we headed north here? Yeah, this is east, so it's actually right here. Did not realize that. So this will take us to the next farmland over. And then there's an abandoned farmland. You head further into the farmlands away from the town. I'm going to go ahead and light up, guys. Hope you'll bear with me. I actually have... Opening a new pack. Um, my, mom, uh, my mom is actually home today from the hospital after a little bit of a scare. Uh, so that's going on. She's downstairs resting. So I feel good about that for her to be home. Mm. All right, let's check it out. We are in the farmland. Um, we're at the farmland. Let's head this way. Come up and grab that. Storm Heather. Farmer Rog Rogan's house. Farmer Rogan. Well, we can ask him what's up.
I don't see any interactables. All right, let's go talk to Farmer Rogan before we inevitably get into some combat today. Greetings, folks. What can Farmer Rogan help you with? How are things with you? Well, it ain't too bad, actually, considering this island has fallen apart and we're suffering a curse that has us isolated from the rest of the world. Sure, orcs and wild men have taken my cattle. The dried groves have scared my animals away and are giving us bad weather. And I saw a dragon flying in the skies the other day. But that doesn't mean things are bad. Just interesting. <laughs> Good attitude to have. Attack. What do you think of the curse? While many others hate it, I honestly don't see the big deal. Nobody came to this island to begin with, and we traded with nobody important. Wilderness has never been safe either. Now it's just a tad bit more dangerous. It's not like life has flipped upside down for us. Sure, farmers are getting raided more frequently, but that's just hazards of the business, I say. Hmm. Goodbye. Okay, let's come in here, maybe raid his house. He said he's getting raided. There is nothing here. We can go out the back exit. And I don't want to miss a thing. Still in his fields. Ah, okay. A little path to go through there. We've got Galavan Amaranth. Oh, a place to chop through. Uh huh. And that is north. I think we'll keep going east for now and see what we get to. Let me quick save. Okay, here we've got something. Skull on a on a stick. Let's grab this. Galvan Amaranth. Huh. The old sign reads North to the foothills and mountains Etched below this Ah, I missed it Hang on guys, I gotta See who just texted me Okay Okay, to the foothills and mountains Etched below this Warning, road closed due to dangerous conditions. Cross bridge at your own risk. And that's if we wanted to head north. We don't really want to head north. Let's come this way. Let's grab this. Two angry violets. At least they're not shrinking. They're just angry. <laughs> Let's keep going east. little stream still runs through here. Um, I don't see any interactables. Farmer Joseph's farm. Aha. There's Farmer Joseph. Let's go talk to him and hey, where's our supplies, buddy? How's it going, folks? Need help with anything? We're here to pick up supplies for the tavern chef. She said you'd have something ready for us. Ah, so she did send someone. Good. I sent my teenage son with the shipment last time, and he was robbed by some thugs. So I told Mariah that I can't send any more shipments yet, but the damn woman's so busy all the time that things go in one ear and out the other. Here, take this. He hands you the shipment in a bag. Take this to Mariah and watch out in case those thugs do it again. 
All right, we've got the supplies. Return to the chef. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm not going to return just yet. How's it going, folks? How are things around here? With the curse, it's quite dangerous. Watch out there. Or watch out. There are wild men about. And further up into the hills are the orcs and the giants, which have recently come down from the mountains after the cursed storm. Who are the wild men? Brigands and raiders who in recent years started to gather and ally against common causes, like us. Never heard of them reasoning with anyone. They just attack anyone who isn't one of them. Watch out for them. They have druids and sorcerers in their tribes. Giants and orcs. There's a tribe of friendly orcs and giants in the hills up there. At least so I've heard. I wouldn't risk finding out and seeing though, personally. What's the cursed storm? The day this island was cursed and trapped in a pocket dimension, it began with an intense thunderstorm. I had lost a few cattle to the winds and much of my farm was destroyed. Now we're all trapped here and everything on the island started to go crazy and attack. Let's talk about something else. General directions. Go straight west to hit the town. To the east is just abandoned farmlands. The north goes to the foothills and up towards the mountains. To the immediate north across the river is the haunted farmhouse. Watch out around it. Hmm. Vengeful spirit raising undead and attacking folks. Ah, new quest. If you go back west to Phil's farm and then follow the road northwest, that will take you to the jungle road. The first crossroad there splits off, north going around the mountain and west going back to the monastery. Going south off the road at the crossroads also takes you to the confluences, which flow past the town and into the swamps. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got a new quest. Um, let's come through here and see if we can pick anything. Wow, all this and no interactables. But very beautiful layout and stuff. It's very believable. Realistic, I guess you could say. Here's a house. Let's check this out. We've got an interactable. Galavan Amaranth. New waypoint. Abandoned farmlands, huh? Oh, that's going that way. Okay. If we come this way, Plenty of interactables. We've got Galavan Amaranth stuff here. Oh, no battle. We head further north, I'm sure there will be. What do we have here? Um, Troll Acanthus. Nice. That's good stuff. Moonflower. Oh, we could have used that for a crafting recipe. Another moonflower. I think it used two of them, too. Oh, battle started. Okay. Giant crows. They're good for feathers. Alright, Illendir. Um. Oh, we know their health. The brimstone vipers only have 5 HP, it looks like. Uh, tiger drake. Let's run up on this tiger drake. And stabby stabby. Mm. Next time. Contra. Um. I might as well go Eldritch Blast. Can't hit that one. Hit the Tiger Drake and a Brimstone Viper. Four and dead. Okay. Come here to there. Nibiria. Um, go up and attack this Tiger Drake. She's always. Oh! Uh, precise. Yeah, sure. 
Wait till the next one. 11 damage, 11 slashing. There we go. 12 slashing. Oh, 11 damage, four, oh, 9 piercing, 4 poison. Um, sorry for any background noises. Turn this down a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. 24. Sure, we'll channel Divinity. That comes back after a short rest, I think. Tiger Drake has attack advantage. Five psychic, six piercing. Brace and kill that thing. You'll die like the rest. They're just giant crows. Oh, two attacks. Nine slashing. Oh. Guess we'll switch to ranged. Shoot this one. Got him. Very cool. Calandra, uh... You can Eldritch Blast them up there. Rimstone Viper. That's only got 5 HP. Let's just, uh, kill it. Another kill. And a miss. Um, Liberia. Take out the giant crow. 13, that's half of its life. Oh, boy. Use an action surge. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's got maybe one HP left. Zoe. Uh... Hopefully kill. 22. Got him. <laughs> Get to hell. Okay. Eleven piercing, eight poison, dang, and it goes back up. Shoot it. Mmm. You suck. <laughs> Zoe. Blast it. One force damage and a miss. This thing is going to be a bugger since we can't reach it. You don't even have ranged. Insult it. Sure, insult the tiger Drake. <laughs> it's mocked. Three psychic, it'll have disadvantage on its next roll. Nice. Can't beat that. Zoe. 25. Five Pierce. That's what it does. Down to attack Illendir. Nice. That would have been a crit. Oh, flying back up. There's a hit for four. Andra or Eldritch Blast, I guess. We have no choice. Twelve and a miss. You reach it? No, but you can ready melee. Pretty simple encounter. Ooh. Rare miss from Zoe. 
Oh, don't do that. Ready for action. Boom. Got it. Alright, cool. And a lot of loot to pick up here, so let's get to it. Success roll is uh, successful or survival roll. Brimstone Viper Scales. They're worth 20. Scales from a large flying snake from the Badlands. We'll have um, Kalandra grab this stuff. Nice little fortune to be made. A uh, Tiger Drake Venom Gland. That's worth 60. Taken from the corpse of a Sorok. This spine contains a poison that can be processed to be used on a weapon. So we can grab the arrows, the arrow, empty. I like that arrows are like fall down to the ground when they miss and stuff. Sometimes oh, we've got a crossbow bolt. Grab this. Another brimstone viper venom gland. Corpse of a brim brimstone viper. So that is, I guess, everything here. Not as profitable as I thought. But, uh, success nonetheless. I think we can get by without a short rest. I don't know, maybe I should. Huh. We're going north now. Yeah, I don't want to go too far north, guys. The other side of this bridge. Nothing here. Uh, hmm. Well, that was fun little combat. I guess we... Let's see. We did use a lot of... Oh, Eldritch Blast is not a spell, right? So that doesn't matter that she used a bunch of that. Let's take a short rest. Let's have... Yeah, let's go ahead and start a short rest. So you get your action surge, surge and gambit. Dice back. You get your channel divinity. Very nice. Let's roll. Ten... 10, let's roll 8, 8, 8, might as well, and, yeah, might as well. Alright, cool. Quick save. See how long that first battle took us. 23 minutes. Alright, let's come through here and maybe see what's behind door number 1. So far, so good. Okay. A fey wolf. And a dire wolf. Okay, first up is Zoe. Fey wolf. An enormous and powerful wolf found only in the deepest and most ancient forests of Salansta. And a dire wolf, a particularly large wolf. Challenge one, easy. This guy's unknown. Um... Let's move away. 
And then we'll go ahead and just fire away. 25. Go ahead and use our Strike of Chaos. 6 Psychic. 11 Piercing. Blind. Nice. Can't beat that. Calandra. Um, Eldritch Blast. Probably going to make it save. It's blinded though, which is great. Uh, oh, 9 and 6. Nice. 15 damage. Can't beat that. Iberia is going to come up and whack it. Oh, dead. Dead. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Um, oh, there's more of them? Oh, there's more of them. I thought that was the only one. It was just a little two-person battle. <laughs> Return, here comes another. Spend the die to brace. Boom. Stopped in its tracks. Wow, 18 damage total. Illendir. Let's grab the rapier and run up here and stabby stabby. Oh boy. Next time, I swear. Dire wolves. Another Fey Wolf. I think maybe we should try to put them to sleep. Probably be a good idea. Hmm. Elendir gets an attack of opportunity. Ha! Truly formidable. Wow. 5 and 20. 25 damage. Thank you, Kalantra. Um. Oh boy, it's always tied up. But that's okay. It doesn't really stop her. Um, I'm not too worried, honestly. Let's just shoot. Still an 18. <laughs> Dead. And can even cast a spell as a bonus action. Um, Summon a spiritual weapon right there. Nice. Magical effect control. Select the destination to move our target. We'll move you right there. And. Oh. Thought it was going to have an attack. Calandra. Let's go ahead and maybe. It's not going to put that to sleep. Um, we don't really get a good... I guess put those three to sleep. Wow, didn't affect any of them. Nibiria, um, attack the Fey Wolf. Eleven slashing, eight slashing. Uh, let's use an action surge. Maybe try to take out this Fey Wolf. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Got him. Nice. There's still one Fey Wolf left. It looks like. Illendir. There's the Fey Wolf. Um. Stay right here and just attack. Critical. Wow, dead in one shot. 38 big damage. We'll stay there. Hmm. Sure. Get them back upon short rest anyway. 13 slash. 
attack of opportunity, seven. Comes a wild fey. Oh, 14 piercing. And it gets two attacks. No one has advantage. Eight piercing on Calandra. Zoe. Um. 18. No quarter given. Uh, go ahead and attack here. <laughs> nice. 10 damage for the kill. Can't beat that. Oh, Calandra was knocked down. Yeah, she's down health a little bit here. Let's go ahead and Eldritch Blast. Range attack with enemy nearby. Uh. Ooh, 12 damage. Not bad. Iberia. Come down here and chop. Pretty easy encounter, all things considered. 16. And Illendir. Critical for the kill, 19. Let's go. Oh, 10 piercing again on Calandra. Disadvantage does not affect her. Calandra, uh, yeah. Six and a miss. Nibiria. Let's see what these wolves were guarding or gathering around. Nice. And there's the kill. Cool. Our knowledge of dire wolves has increased. Survival success. I'm not sure what that survival is for. Success. I think the spiritual weapon may be with us for 24 hours or an hour. Wow. Lots of dire wolf pelts, which we can flip. A thick and beautiful pelt that could be sold for some gold. Um, the fey wolves don't seem to have dropped anything. Let's see what's here. Manicallan orchid. This was a fey wolf, was it not? Nice hand placed. No, just an arrow. Hmm. Oh, treasure chest in the ruin. Treat yourself, <laughs> as Ben and David would say, or as Ben would say, or David. We cruise with Ben and David. My mom and I are a big fan of them. Shout out to those two. All right, let's come over here. I don't want to go too far into another encounter, perhaps, but Emperor's Eye. We'll come down here at least and chop this away. Huh. Feels like progression whenever you get to chop down these barriers. There we go. Let's come back and check this uh, chest. Little quick save, little cheeky quick save. Uh, 33 minutes in, so I will go ahead and open this in this episode. So let's do it, shall we? It's got a magnificent spear. Wow. Zoe can go ahead and use that or sell it. Worth a thousand. A beautiful spear of the highest quality, perfectly balanced and incredibly sharp. Max range 12. That's pretty nifty. Um, so we can take it. Let's go ahead and check out her. Um, unfortunately, it's a strength roll. But it is plus one. Um... She needs that plus one. She's got a plus ten to hit with that, but with the spear, it's just a plus three. Which really changes things. 
I did not quite outfit her enough for spear. I was hoping to make her decent with the spear and character creation, but I kind of mucked it up. So if we give her this, it would be plus four, plus one damage. Uh, nice looking spear. It's huge. Huge range on that. Her normal spear oh, still has the same range. Um, oh, you can throw this thing too. Okay. I think I'm going to honestly leave the regular spear and just sell that. Because it's worth a thousand. Um, she doesn't really attack with spear. We've kind of gone into her ranger status. We've committed to that. She's a level two ranger. Angry violent. So we're going to stick with ranged attacks. Blood daffodil. Alright, we've just about explored this area. Let's take the supplies back to town. And to abandoned farmlands. Um, we'll get there. No hurry, no rush. Travel interrupted. They got armed guards now. Get them. Oh, the thugs. That are trying to steal the dang supplies. And Kalandra's hurt. I didn't even think to rest. You're still in the fight, my friend. Okay, Zoe. Uh, Thieves Guild, thug. Huh. Oh, get your bow out, girl. Um. Still 22. <laughs> Healing word on Kalandra. Heal of four. Go ahead and shield that attack. Kalandra can go ahead and ah, uh, just Eldritch Blast. Target has half cover plus two AC. One damage and a miss. Wow. Get her away a little bit. Not really necessary. Hello, dear. <laughs> Not mm. bad, eh? Not bad at all. 16 damage. And so, uh, Nibiria. Come up here. Still in the realm of pretty easy. Ten slashing. I don't know. This this one's got a lot of health. Nine slashing. Alright, we didn't take a rest. She doesn't have action surge. We can brace. Boom. Stopped in his tracks. Twelve damage. These two are moving. Oh man. Three attacks? By the Thieves Guild Thug? Wow. Okay, we might need to upgrade a little bit here. Um, cast Cure Wounds a level higher. Cast it level three on Viria. Nice. Oh, 10, we'll take it. Could be much higher in the future. Shield. Calandra. Um, should probably use a sleep spell. Oh man. Uh, 
right there, I guess. Wait, right there is perfect. Go to sleep. Oh, uh, one of them goes to sleep. It's a regular thug. Yellow yeah, deer. Take this guy. Nice. 21 damage total. Um. Hopefully get a kill. Dead. I like. This one's prone and unconscious. Boom, dead. Counter. Let's see Zoe. Fourteen still hit. A four still hit. Blast. Three and one. Fifteen damage, nice. Um nice crit for twenty three. Kill you. Huh. Zoe for the kill. Two? Oh, even a two hit. Wow. Dead. Nice success. We're going to have more loot to take back to the Thieves Guild. Steve's guilt doesn't attack us on sight now. There's death. Victory. Let's quick save and grab some loot. Wow, okay, we've got six silver, light crossbow, scimit ooh, scimitar with 25, and leather. Cool. Ration. Two silver, bow, three silver ration, leather, scimitar, crossbow, scimitar, leather, ration, a key, rusty key, it seems re it seems residue from the sewers has rusted this key. I'll have Zoe grab that key because she's familiar with the Thieves Guild. Five SP, light crossbow, scimitar, leather, pouch, ration. All right, bada bing, bada boom. Smooth sailing. So something maybe in the sewers. Well, it probably unlocks the the thieves guild itself, which you know, obviously, we've already done. So I don't think there's anything else locked on there. There is that one room that's locked. I think maybe it's a storeroom. We'll have to find out when we head down there. But uh, we're going to be wrapping this up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the dual combat today. The exploration, finding the chest. Just peeking around, getting the supplies. We did a lot in this episode. I uh, hope you'll stick with me for next time. More fun to come. Um, don't go anywhere. We're going to turn in the supplies to whoever we have to. Um, was it Bright Blade? Uh, I don't know, but they're going to want us to maybe join the Legion if we do that. But stay tuned, guys. I am definitely going to play a little bit more. I'm having a ball. Um, appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much. You guys make it all the more worthwhile for me. Um, go up here to the marketplace. Oh, no, it's the tavern that we have to head to for the uh, supply quest, but... We'll save right here. Episode 24, the Kobe Bean Bryant episode. See you guys in the next one. All love and good things. Much love, peace, and joy. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the LP. Get you.
you guys next time. Bye-bye.